We are well on our way to that target of 307 subscribers by 2022. And the march to 307 subscribers by 2022 in two years time when I'm on 307 subscribers and as we march our way towards 307 subscribers, I think it's fair to say that I'm well and truly on my way to 307 subscribers by 2022. Well, that was unexpected. Let me explain. So a little over a month ago I decided to give up my phone and my iPad for 30 days in the hopes that it would free up over two days a week where I could be more productive and hopefully do something better with my time than looking at my phone. This is how it went. So last Monday I did a video where I gave up my phone for 30 days and documented the experience. When I put this video out I had 924 subscribers and my channel is nearly four years old so it's taken me nearly four years to gain that many subscribers which means I know just how hard it is to get your video seen by people. In fact my first successful video on this channel was called How I Got 11 Subscribers in Only 5 Months and that video took me from 11 subscribers to 35 subscribers. Something that was so exciting that me and my fiance literally danced around the kitchen. Which is why when the first comment that came in on my 30 days no phone video was from a friend called James Miller who said get this man to 1k, I responded with dude if I manage that this year I'll be so happy. I really meant that and an hour after the video being out I had 52 views and I had lost a subscriber so I was down to 923 subscribers. But that was when I got a comment from someone you might have heard of, a small East Anglia based YouTuber called Jackmate who said, you are criminally underrated. Now I was honestly stoked to get this message, to get that validation from a bigger channel that you watch and respect is awesome and at that moment if that had been the best thing this video had achieved I would have been so happy. But then I got another message from Jack that said, I've just shared this via a community post. Hope it pushes you over the 1k mark, man. Holy crap. Now I'm excited. Jack had tweeted out a video I'd done two weeks previous to this and I gained 95 subscribers. So there was a very real chance at this point that I would be pushed past the 1k mark. But I wasn't prepared for what actually happened. What the actual fu- Now I know what you're probably thinking. You're watching this and thinking, okay John, but you called this Jackmate ruined everything. And that's because he did. You see, the point of that video was for me to use my phone less and the conclusion a week after that challenge finished was that I'd achieved just that. But then Jack shouted me out and I've been glued to my phone ever since, refreshing the YouTube studio app to see where my sub count's at and spending the rest of the time replying to messages, tweets and Instagrams. In fact, Jack reposted my Instagram story on his Instagram story. It's like he doesn't give a crap about my screen time. Jackmate has been the best thing to happen to my channel, but the worst thing to happen to my screen time. And it's not just my screen time that Jackmate has ruined. Last year he shouted out Robbie Knox and it absolutely devastated his screen time. In fact, when I reached out to him earlier this week, he had this to say. Hello mate, I know what you mean about the screen time. I had like 6,000 subscribers and he put me in a video saying I was God tier and then I ended up with like 60,000 and it's just loads of admin as well. You feel to reply to things and you just got to do lots of stuff and all that. It's like ball lake. Um, and then the other day put me in a video of like five up and coming YouTubers or something like that. And then, and that ruined things a bit because I was going to do a 75k Q&A and I like doing Q&As because they're really easy. It's like work that you'd have to do in it. You just people ask questions you just talk so I really enjoy doing those because I'm lazy but then it, I was on 74,000 I'm on like 79,000 because of that and it just ruined my 75k you can't do an 80,000 Q&A can you it seems mental so I've just got to wait for 100,000 now poor lake the admin 
Robbie's got a point. The admin is unreal. I responded to every comment that was on that last video and there was definitely some reoccurring themes. Here from Jack mate. Here from Jack mate. How did you watch porn? Who's here from Jack mate? Here from Jack mate. Here from Jack mate. Actually, that's given me an idea. There we go, my first piece of merchandise, and it's exactly the low effort type of merchandise that Jack Mate loves, so I'm sure he'll endorse it. In all seriousness, thank you, Jack. I don't think you realize just how much this means to me and my fiance, and thank you to everyone that came over, gave me a chance, and left lovely comments. Without wanting to sound like a soppy twat, it meant a lot. Also, thank you for making my last video my most watched video. Before then, my most watched video was actually my first video, which is called Five Dyson Products I'd Like to Stick My Dick In. And it's not my best work, and it's hardly the work I'm proudest of either. Especially since my in-laws discovered that I have a YouTube channel, and I don't think it's a coincidence that since then, I've not been able to find their Dyson. I suppose I should give you some recommendations for other videos you might wanna watch. A month ago I came into this wood to film a video about cans that isn't about cans and it's probably the video I'm proudest of on the channel so far so if you haven't watched that, give that one a go. Now if you're a fan of Jack Mate, I'm going to assume that there's a good chance that you're a fan of Robbie Knox who not only set me a challenge on this channel a month or so ago but also filmed a video with me last year where we competed to see who could throw a welly the furthest. So yeah, there's that. My partner Charlie also features on this channel a fair bit, so if you want a bit of an introduction to Charlie, I'd recommend Coronavirus Cancelled My Wedding. It's a lovely cheery one. I'm also thinking I might do a Q&A over the next few weeks because of all the new subscribers out there and I want to let them get to know me. I like doing Q&As because they're really easy. It's like work that you have to do, innit? You just people ask questions you just talk so if you want to ask me a question leave a comment down below or hit me up on my twitter or instagram for the unindoctrinated viewers i usually end my videos by telling the audience to piss off and today is no exception so piss off the boy john the boy john the boy john So my channel's just been monetized and I've just found out that my video about the guy who wrote the Mr. Beast song has got a CPM of $20. So I definitely recommend you check that one out.